Hey guys, welcome back to Cast It. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Captain Manfrey. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff today. Thanks for watching, Cast It. Welcome Super back. This is episode special. 5. I can't believe it. But yeah, that's right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, you guys are great, so I'm kidding. It's just me, Kyle. How y'all about? Welcome back, and thanks for watching Cast It, episode 5. Five. Cast It, yeah. So, Robin, how can there be uh, two different Batmans here? This makes no sense. Well, gosh, gee, Batman, I guess I'd have to say you'd have to check out that new Flash movie. Harley Quinn, what do you know about this? I mean, you bang the Joker and all. I got five on it. Welcome back. This is episode five. Thanks for watching. This here segment is Super Bowl Supermarket. You guys, this is what happens when you get all drunk and fucked up and, and you go shopping after the game. You're supposed to go shopping before. No, 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 no. <laughs> scratching a little bit with his nail, I think is what he said there. Yeah. <laughs> They always run. <laughs> the heck kind of footage is this? It's shakier than the earthquake we had on Friday afternoon here in Los Angeles, California. Problems are scared of this guy. Just like in episode one, the pilot. You can't be scared of these clowns. We got it all on video. It's on video. Oh fuck! I almost Shit, fuck! You're gonna go to jail. You need to stop. You know what? If one of those hits me, then it's assault. That's right. He needs to be restrained. Oh wow! Look at that. Tackled, taken down, and the, he's turning the suit. Oh wow! Jeez, this is literally my first time watching this. Oh my gosh! You know somebody's got to clean that up. Do you think about those people? Oh, you have police clean and you have work. Oh, the police are coming. You have police clean and you have work. They're gonna drag you in here. I'm saying you can clean it and you'll have work. They're gonna More work you to do. Chair. They're gonna leave you alone. For hours. Careful around in that corner, buddy. You don't know what he might be throwing at you. <laughs> I really think at this point, this guy literally just can't find the fucking exit. What is wrong with you? Just kick his ass, sea bass. Get on him. Why is this guy not do? Get that coat out of my face. He is not getting the best footage. Seems a little nervous, maybe. And you are out. Roused. Roused. All that for nothing. Because he was either drunk or on some kind of a drug. Either way, that goes out of his mind on something. And now, in news that's local to me, but I wish that it wasn't. <laughs> no, but seriously, I've seen this guy in person. This it's by a man it's he impressive. Check it out. Mexico. He's lived here for several years now. Neighbors say he helps keep the area clean, and he's never caused any problems. Listen here. We have a great relationship with this gentleman. 
Um, honestly, he never does anything to offend anybody, so we don't have any reason to call any police or anyone to remove him from here. He helps us clean up our um, shopping center around here, keeps it nice and tidy for us. I have many people come out and ask me questions about what's going on, what is this, is this like a memorial? No, it's not. It's just a creative man at work. Fuentes. He's a 64-year-old gardener from Mexico who's lived on this Pacoima hillside next to the 118 freeway for a couple of years now. Now, Jose said that when he arrived, this looked like most other homeless encampments around here. It was just littered with trash. He said he started this project with the front garden area that he used his landscaping expertise to eventually expand upward, as you can see here, adding items like small cars, then using toys oh, to create cool. sculptures. Then as a group, they started impressive. and they started contributing to its expansion. Good now, for him. Good for garden. him. And I've driven by this guy quite a few times. I've even taken some video. Probably one of the videos on my channel. If you can find the video on my channel and post it in my link, I'll Venmo you $10. Only the first person. That's your Super Bowl contest. Are they trying to get this guy burned? Jeez. How would you report him, lady? She's like Jane Fonda. Interviewing American POWs during Vietnam and then ratting them out to the enemy. Done to this space, but again, no housing he says has been offered to him yet. Uh, coming up at 10 o'clock tonight, we're going to take you inside that actual house he gave us a tour earlier today. Party Latin for Coima, Chelsea Edwards. I'll send it back to you. Chelsea, he's been there how long? And maybe we'll see that tour one night. Maybe we'll actually cast that night tour. Maybe not. Gradually going upward, so you can you can see it as you drive by. It's certainly something that you take notice of. Yeah, definitely. I've seen it myself. Out any of the services all over Southern California? Not a lot of services. If it was offered, um, he really likes the creativity that he's allowed to have here. And again, no one's ever told him to leave or to you know to get off this property. There's also until this aired, I'm sure. Down past the freeway, so it's kind of sad that we're letting that happen, isn't it? We must have a complaint about it. Like, homeless people are cockroaches forgetting that they're human beings. That's something we could all focus on. Now, this is coming in the sponsored ads. <laughs> Why the sponsors are sending it to me and they actually think I have any kind of interest in this whatsoever. I have no idea. I don't even know what the excessive celebration no is. What I'm not saying any about. petitions. I'd much rather not. <laughs> and to our people that love land. Aquarium. Thank you for this YouTube video. Where Komodo Dragon picks the winner of this year's Super Bowl. So he's going... Where's it going toward the Giants? Leaving the Chiefs in the dust. What in the... Or the feed them crickets or something beyond the Giants. Of course he's going to pick that. <laughs> Amazingly, this video doesn't make any sound. It only has about 500 views. I'm trying to support other uh, small-time YouTubers. Now a sad throwback of last week's UFO that we saw. As did OSC Mac. Last Sunday that killed three Americans. More than 40 were hurt. Fox 4's Sean Rabin now with... And when we actually told you guys about the Houthis... Sean. Last episode, not over. Um, the targets, militants, but the it just keeps coming, getting bigger and bigger. In the, the problem, and so not an ally, but a strategic partner in the region to the U.S. says it had no prior notice the attacks were coming.
conducted major airstrikes on 85 targets across seven locations in Iraq and Syria on Friday. And that was followed by coalition strikes over the weekend, all in retaliation to an attack in a military outpost in Jordan last Sunday that killed three Americans. More than 40 were hurt. Fox Force is oh, now with nice. what Pentagon and State Department are saying today. Sean. Well, first, it's not over. The targets, Iranian-backed militants, Houthi rebels, and others who've been striking U.S. troops in the Middle East and Iraq, not an ally but a strategic partner in the region to the U.S., says it had no prior notice the attacks were coming. Since Friday, sophisticated airstrikes by the military against targets in Iraq and Syria... These look a lot like our UFOs. US forces. Although we continue to evaluate, we currently assess that we had good effects and that the strikes destroyed or functionally damaged more than 80 targets at the seven facilities. Three days of retaliatory attacks against Houthi rebels, targeting command and intelligence centers, as well as munition and vehicle storage sites. The response to a drone attack that killed three U.S. soldiers in Jordan at a military installation known as Tower 22. These are looking way too much like the UFO trails in our last episode. It's not the yeah, out of right. this world. These big giant missiles like you see on that truck right here on this earth. It's human beings we need to fear. There are no aliens out there trying to destroy us. Look at that. They're all just trying to destroy each other. Three of the sites hit were in that country. Iraq, like every country in the region, understood that there would be a response after the deaths of uh, our soldiers. Uh, as for this specific response on Friday, uh, there was not a pre-notification. I feel like if an actor was going to play this guy in a movie, that actor would be Jonah Hill with a tan. Yeah. People think that we're not at war currently. The military says its response with allies and alone is beginning to make a difference. This is beginning to make sense about our UFOs. It's all matching up. U.S. unilateral strikes uh, in self-defense all add up to uh, what we believe is degrading uh, a significant amount of capability. Wow. I guess that's all the more reason to have a good bug out vehicle that's solar powered. Thank you for watching Cast It Episode 5. We couldn't do it without our viewers. Alright, guys. I just wanted to let you know I'm Batman.